everybody. After a whole year, on the whole day actually, on the beach, now, you are probably a little bit burned. Uh, maybe you need some kind of aid. Uh, but okay. Then let me start with this uh, first slogan about AIDA web, web application server, which is called Aiding the Web, actually. So uh, that was one of the main also ideas back 10 years ago, actually, uh, to, to use uh, small talk technology and also object technology and everything for the web. And I, I will try to uh, just send, send you some message about how we do this. Uh, and the other, uh, always, this, this is how the web works. So, we actually tried uh, to mimic the web in small talk as much as possible. Uh, and uh, so, I will, go, I will uh, talk about four things only, about features, more ideas than features, about achievements, so, uh, concrete websites, systems, products uh, which are AIDA web based and there are many AIDA guys up there uh, which are present here. So uh, uh, also about present state of the AIDA web community, also AIDA web as a product and about our future plans. So uh, let me start with features. Maybe uh, the basic ideas back, uh, 10 tips about uh, back. So first idea maybe is this. Every object can have an URL. And this is actually also Alan Key, K uh, uh, idea. Uh, he presented this in OOPSA 97. Uh, I do not know of anybody who is realized that the very least, uh, every object should have an URL. And actually, we implemented that one year earlier already. So, uh, also, kind of his idea, or he hinted also about this next idea, the web of pages, which is work by web, is kind of similar to our web domain of, or, uh, model, or, uh, model in object-oriented uh, world. We have here actually kind of di directed graph. So we have here web pages which have URL links to the other web pages. And this is graph like structure. And we directed graph. We have actually the same thing here in our object model, object work. Is that true? We also have ob objects and object references to the other objects in instance variables. And we have also, we make a kind of graph-like structure at the end, generally speaking, yes? And we can think also things like this, like circles and such things. So, all I, all idea behind AIDA is to map the main object to the, to the world by way. And actually back. So, how did, is this achieved? Maybe let me just think, uh, talk about uh, another uh, idea, so that every object should be presented as a web page. It's actually an extension of this idea, which is presented in small talk from the start row. So every object should present itself as a, some kind of text. We just extended this to that every object uh, is, can be presented as a web page. Okay, this is not so simple as it looks like here, because then we have this MVC mechanism which delegates the presentation to the special presenter object, which, which is what here, uh, application, yes? So, how do you do with uh, Simple, we don't have problems with recursion at all. So that, that Like this, like this thing here. For instance, this is like here on the web. You can navigate 
you can go from one object to, the, uh, to one page to the other page and you can return back to the first page and so on and so on and so on. In your history, you will actually have a history of all those uh, uh, things. So we don't have here problem with uh, circular uh, references or recurs recursions, uh, endless versions of such things.
for this one, this designer is actually one PHP designer. He usually did do this for PHP uh, with servers. Uh, but now uh, it was a problem because his design is very old, traditional to say. It's not nicely uh, <coughs> separated. CSS, for instance, is not nicely separated from PHP, uh, HTML. And there are a lot, many of tables inside and such things. So it's very hard this thing to put in small talk, for instance. So we did kind of uh, backtrack back to template-based system for that, for that. So, and this is actually <coughs> possible without problems and also without introducing some kind of uh, templating system in AIDA. Even that, that we can also had templating back eight years back, actually. But we switched off the, uh, the same reason as uh, Seasiders did. Okay, this is first uh, uh, site which is done by the community member. This is Dirk Versen uh, up there. Dirk, hello. <laughs> uh, this is a football site and for tracking football results in many, many ways. It's Belgium football team. One block from uh, Nicolas de Pong. Nicolas, where are you? Ah, you are here. Uh, Nicolas is our core member now, core member of uh, a development team for AIDA and AIDA Scribo. And this is actually a Scribo plugin for the block. Another thing is uh, Speak Project Manager. That's uh, uh, also done by uh, Nico. Uh, this project manager is actually a uh, grouping together of many things from the uh, Scribo and from the others to uh, manage uh, uh, small talk projects for now, Speak, speak projects uh, to manage together. So, from Wiki, you have here Wikis up to the roadmap, all. Uh, this incident management is here, uh, incident. Uh, uh, issue management up to, down to the repository and also timeline. So, uh, idea here is to, uh, to evolve this, to have a, a very nice, uh, say, project manager for one of your projects uh, on this model. Uh, this is the VR, this commercial system, uh, from my company, uh, this is uh, management of quality management, actually, management of documents related to quality systems. It's also uh, behind this very powerful management of business processes. Uh, and actually, Scribo is a product, it's open source part of this product, which is already five years old, actually. Okay. Another product which is called Elogis from guys from all the computers out there. There are four of them. Hello. Uh, Elogis is a logi logistical system uh, for management logistical processes, like uh, from warehousing to the transportation and everything we have in the middle. This is, uh, I think, we started that together uh, eight years ago. So, uh, start eight years old project evolving all the time, you can see that uh, they have a lot, a very good designer, a uh, web designer there for this CSS stuff. Uh, there another uh, achievement to say is this side, this is uh, for our gas uh, pipeline operator, national gas pipeline operator, we have been devoted for management of uh, <coughs> gas business to say, uh, for the whole Slovenia actually, for so that's, or maybe this one is even better. Huh? Yeah. So uh, this system is very interesting because we, we, behind it's very powerful um, domain model. Uh, also, it's Jameson based system. Uh, and you have then this interface here. And uh, the latest. Uh, the latest thing is a new Squeak website, which we will now, it is actually already uh, ported to the AIDA Scribo. And the next week we will uh, put uh, this Scribo <coughs> online. And you can see here how you edit actually this 
small edit links for editing separate components of uh, the site and some sites. And so on. One nice thing here are also because we, uh, those components are uh, we are calling them scriptlets, just components which are which are can be embedded inside the inside the text. So. Uh, uh, if you, those who remember the talk from the Monday, uh, you see the gallery, for instance, such kind of image gallery, such kind of uh, things. Here, for instance, is this uh, news reader from the uh, new, uh, Speak News, weekly Speak. So, uh, next week, we will go online. Okay, what's the present state of in AIDA? First, we have a logo. Uh, this, this takes uh, two. <coughs> Uh, one year at, at least to, to, to come to the logo. Okay, quiz question. What's, what is this sign? What is this mean, the meaning of this sign? Okay, another? Okay. Some other idea what is the meaning of that? Star. Yeah, okay. Uh, another idea? Ask for a chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. What about, for instance, uh, spider web? Is it something similar? No. 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 Okay. Okay. This is good. <laughs> because it really is Edelweiss. You know what? Edelweiss, uh, uh, this is a, a mountain flower in the Alps, in our Alps. It's uh, it's present for uh, for uh, Alp region yeah, from the yes. I I I hope that I win a T-shirt. Ah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you wasn't first. <laughs> you were first. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, this is Edelweiss mountain flower. It's very resistible to the very harsh weather conditions. Yeah. And uh, that's one of the reasons uh, we chose that. Uh, the other is that now we, uh, in small talk, we cover the web technology from the sea level <laughs> up to the mountains. Yeah? So. Uh, okay, we just released a beta version of AIDA 6 and uh, AIDA 201. But AIDA web is not much different, but it is uh, ready for Scribble CMS. That was the main reason to uh, release a completely new number, <coughs> uh, major number for the AIDA. While Scribble is a uh, new old thing, yes, I said that the art was uh, it's already five years old technology. But Scribble is will now come in open source world. And it will be supported not only for visual works as uh, the artists, but also for, especially for script and James. So those three <coughs> are for now our target for Scribble. Okay, uh, supported small talk, are small talk dialects are those. <coughs> we are moving more and more to script, uh, to script now, actually, uh, while I developed for a long time on visual works. And we are moving back to Jamestown. I'm also 10 years Jamestown, so, uh, uh, and I'm starting, actually, half a year, we have already uh, read down the glass. And as they had already said, glass meaning here is a bit different. You can try to remember <laughs> the difference. Uh, and we have planned to, at least two, uh, Another dialect, one is Moto Kicks, which will be supported in a, year, in a month or something in October probably already. And uh, GNU Smalltalk, which uh, to be a bit closer to the Linux community, also if I read it. Okay, about the AIDA community. It's actually, even that AIDA is 12 years old. It was open sourced in the year 2000. But uh, uh, we started the, to develop the community very activity just for one five and a half years, actually. So last, last 
February, I think, uh, the website was set up and mainly increased I think. And now we are about 60. And I can say about, about 10 or 15 even of those are very active. active. Uh, we are two co uh, developer, core developers, Nico and me. Uh, but I'm, I need to mention also Masaki Mezawa from Japan, who is responsible to say for the internationalization uh, aspect of AIDA, so we support Japanese now without problems, even in URL, for instance. Uh, and he is also, if you know, he is a six uh, serialization uh, framework. Uh, he is author of the six serializer to the XML and back which we are trying to use now as a persistent framework for the AIDA scribble. There are a lot of other contributions, like we have three tutorials now in three languages, Spanish and French, 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 Wikipedia. There is a Wikipedia entry now. Logo designers, they were free, actually. And at the end, we have uh, we selected from the Yanya Bach. Uh, and of course, you are all invited to come to the, <coughs> our community and uh, help us, or we can help you. Okay, let us see our future plans. Uh, first, first thing is this one. Okay. Uh, on the web, we, say, we said that the uh, web is kind of directed graph of web pages. So you have graph-like navigation here. Yes. On the other side, especially for GUI and also for continuation-based uh, uh, web frameworks, you have more like tree-like navigation. Everywhere where you have the stack, uh, uh, stack behind, you have actually tree-like navigation and also GUI applications are <coughs> typical. You open one window, and then you can open another one, but you cannot go to the other, the, the last one. Yes, you must open, you must close this one to go to the other. While on the web, you can go to the other page at the any time. You, you should go. You should, your framework must, must uh, uh, allow this. But on the other side, this three-like navigation is very nice for things like yes, no dialog, or something like this. So you have uh, you have uh, uh, is, uh, problems which are better solved that way, even on the web. But main, major of problems are graph-like, actually on the web. So that's the idea to put this together, also in the IDA. So. Uh, we will actually do, do this uh, in this way, so it will be, you, will, you will preserve graph-like navigation from as is now, but you will also have this one for the uh, simple things like uh, you know, yes, no dialogue or something, but also more complex. Uh, this is called workflow, in, for instance, in CSI, as I remember. Uh, but the workflow maybe it's not the right uh, right uh, term also because I'm coming from the business project pro process management field when we also have workflow which is completely something different than this. So this will be actually closing the last gap of the competition. So yeah, uh, 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 I hope so. This is uh, still in uh, planning stage, to say in the ideas uh, mode. But I think that we will manage to do this without continuations, for instance. So using just classical uh, web technologies. Usually, probably with Ajax uh, support. That's true. Ajax will be included. OK, another thing is about callbacks. That's a big discussion about to introduce callbacks or not to AIDA. It's callback is something like this. <coughs> Uh, to, to put the action actually direct, directly into the, the block. So, for instance, that we don't have this now. But uh, we can introduce something like this. So, on submit, you, you put the action directly here. Otherwise, in AIDA, because of MVC separation, 
we strictly separate action into uh, the separate method. Ne ne we never do this this way. And that's because we don't like to break MSC. And that's a big question, is this is good or not? Uh, uh, there, are, there is a fear of spaghetti code, okay? So because MVC is there to solve this problem, so that you separate presentation uh, mess, to say, usually, uh, uh, from the domain model, yes? Uh, and in AIDA, we have all, also separation between V and C, and we like to preserve, otherwise we have mess here. So, um, but we are thinking about adding a fallback style verification. So we will have verification code here, which is also thanks uh, hard to say uh, where, uh, uh, where is better to put this uh, on this MVC triad, where to put verification, verification code. <coughs> Some code goes to the model, yes. Questions? So uh, in those ideas we still use blocks, or we used to use something simple like a selector. Uh, here, yeah, uh, for verification. Now, what you just said for uh, uh, dispatching it uh, uh, to the code. Uh, if I understand the question, this will be dispatched. Uh, so, when you add button, you will uh, this, uh, uh, execute this. Yes, this but block, when yes. I, uh, the, the planning you were talking about, the new ideas about the implementation of an AIDA, will I be allowed to put arbitrary small code there or just a single selector? No, we will put here a, a verification code, uh, just for verification. So the result of this will be for the verification reasons, and, uh, but not for the uh, usual callback. So we won't do this uh, in such kind of things. Probably this is kind of still discutable. I'll say. Uh, we actually we have an implementation of callbacks already actually, but it's on the waiting stage now. So we'll just to resolve this problem. Okay, now internationalization, because we have Japanese uh, in uh, our uh, group. <coughs> we also uh, we will do a lot of work. Actually, this is almost done. This is just point to E, to I is still missing. Uh, to have like Wikipedia uh, content, where you have uh, one URL actually for the one uh, topic. But you have many uh, translations, as you know, and those translations are actually kind of standalone. They can be different. Uh, we will do this, uh, for instance, for speak website. There is uh, already an idea to have uh, some communities, uh, language communities on the speak website. For instance, Russian community is one which is interested, maybe French, also, and uh, Spanish, maybe. And uh, those communities will be uh, sep sep uh, will, uh, edit content separately, but the content, the page will have the same URL. And uh, when a user will come, uh, it will be uh, shown the page in his, in his language. That's uh, the that's main idea here. So when he enters the site, he enters his language, or default one in English. So, this is almost done, actually, and I think a week or so. And so. Other is a translation of text on the web page. It, no content, but text on the web page, you know, the labels and such things. <coughs> on the many, uh, on, in many languages. This is also one of the problems. First, how to do this, very easy for translator. Other problem is where to store this. And here we have this idea to to translate directly on the web page. So you just click on the text and uh, translate it to some other language. What you put in the text uh, on, on your uh, code is just this thing. So which is the initial language of this, uh, uh, this text. And th we will store this directly in the methods. So not in some files, outside files, or some database or whatever, but in the methods probably class methods of the this view uh, classes. And uh, this is like method images or uh, file li library as in C site. Actually, we, this technology is quite uh, mature already for such things like uh, pictures and such things in directly in the text. This is good because uh, you then use, you can use your code, uh, source code system 
for uh, man managing also the translations. That's the main idea of this. Okay. Book. Yes, we also have book. It seems so. And uh, it seems quite uh, fast. And uh, since at the end of the year there will be a book. Maybe not in one language which is not English for for start, uh, but we will translate also. <laughs> it will be in French for start. Uh, so uh, if you, so in one year now we have how many books in uh, small talks? Small talks, right? Four or something. Um, so I think that uh, small talk is reviving just because we started to uh, uh, write the books. Is it good? <laughs> Uh, okay, one, one of our uh, ideas as AIDA community is also to have a small talk community. We have many, many projects. Uh, I already mentioned speak uh, website and also speak project manager. There are also some other ideas like uh, for now for Squeak, but we will extend this to a whole small talk, I hope. Uh, like Squeak code on the web. So that to have uh, small talk code uh, searchable from the Google at the end. So so far, as you know, it's, this is uh, almost not possible. There is some uh, uh, the website which has a uh, speed code, uh, but it's not up to date. So idea is to have this uh, our uh, repositories open to the web, uh, as and that every <coughs> class method has its own URL, which is bookmarkable and so on. And uh, so that Google can uh, uh, can use this. And not only Google, but other communities, not non-small communities. Because I think that we, we need to open us uh, to the others, all, and we can open also in this way. Uh, and uh, one of this, of this thing is also this script mark uplift. If you know speed map and this website is uh, very old looking one. Uh, idea is to modernize it and to uh, to add nice search and all other things as others so that we will have kind of nice repository of repository catalog of all code we have. Script for start, then others also follow this. And, uh, and we will then start integrating those, those things together. That's some kind of grand vision of that. But, uh, we already started with the first two. So long term goal is this access to uh, small talk uh, code uh, for us and small talk attackers and easy management of projects also. That's it. Uh, I would like to uh, invite you again to our website. There is a community <coughs> link. You have many things there. And otherwise, thanks for your uh, attention. <laughs> so we have now 15 minutes uh, for questions. Any question? Thank you. Um, you talked about saving small talk, saving translations in methods. Yeah. So, are you out there for thinking of actually getting at the node so that what would have been a string in just one language can still look like that, but I can actually know the several translations in several languages that it needs? That's one of our uh, idea to go. So right. we have special multi-string or something, multi-language string. Yeah. Uh, because I'm, I'm aware of an implementation that has done that. You might, we could ah, chat nice, offline. Nice. Um, I can describe nice. some things to you. Really yeah. Another question, maybe? Okay, then thank you very much.